Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Brave Fencer Musashi, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're gonna take a look see what's behind this door that we opened by lighting two torches. Hmm, an empty room with a glowing statue. An altar of a dragon, no less. The big dragon drawing on top of the dome. Jeez, I wonder what this does, dude. Great little light, and okay, I'll just stare it for no reason and fall through a hole. Yeah, that's how it goes these days. We don't pay attention to trap holes. Okay, some icicles. LG, I wonder what fire will do. Yeah, you don't have to melt these all the way through if you can just jump over them when they're little stubs. Okay, I'll just stare at this mountain for no reason, and, uh... Yep, now we take on another boss. The Frost Dragon. This one got some kick-ass music, too. I mean, look at him. He looks so menacing and everything. This is the Crest Guardian of Fire. He's gonna wait a little while, he's gonna start coiling around, and then he's gonna come at ya. Make sure you get fire ready so you can aim it at his head. That's basically what you gotta do. Oh, I did enough damage, so he's gonna go over here. Knock the little stairway from me, and you better be quick. Because now he's gonna tear down the floor. Save time, just jump over icicles when they're low enough. Okay, this one's not low enough yet. I think I can jump over this one. Ah, yes I can. Anything to save time, go for it. You can melt them all the way if you want and still have enough time to get across, but... Just in case, you might as well, like, do some jumps now and then. Okay, I would think we should be good. Alright, now for the second and final phase of this battle. First attack is going to slam down at you, which is pretty easy to avoid. And spit like five ice chunks at you. Just keep moving and you'll avoid it every time. And this is his most devastating attack, where he starts to get this big fire and malazar thing that freezes you. The best way to avoid it is stand right next to his head. Just find out what way he's going to turn his head to go in the opposite direction. And he does that big, like, head thing that he does every time you get his hit his core, make sure you get right in the corner. Because that way you'll be right under his head when he does that sweep. You'll dodge it every single time. I don't know why it's lagging for this battle. Like, I got nothing running. Ah, it's probably just a little fritz, that's all. Keep this up and you'll be fine. These are pretty much all of his, his attacks right there. Once you know what they are, you can... Damn! I was going to go that entire fight without taking a hit. I was hoping for that. But of course it was my fault for going like right in front of his face. Ah, I just touched his head and I got frozen. Trying to dodge it. Ah, well, it's only gonna take like two hits. It's not even a quarter of my health. There we go. You gonna go this way? Okay. I'll wait over here. Fire some flames in your face. Go. Do the same thing as again. You are so predictable, Frost Dragon. What a shame. I'm guessing you got Brain Freeze. Get it? Frost Dragon? Brain Freeze? And I think I should have hit myself now. There. I want to wait till the boss was dead first. 
Ah, oh, right into ice chunks. And now the core is mine. There, the fire crest has been liberated. Oh, good. Huh, I saw that drawing before. I wonder what it's gonna do. Whoops. Huh, let's see where it takes me. Oh, it takes me back here. So I'm guessing that two drawings there must be linked through magical teleportation abilities. It's pretty obvious, of course. So I guess we can get out of here now. Yep, back to the village. Well, back to the village. We're done here. For good. Meanwhile, though, what the fuck are these flying Darth Vader heads doing? Like Darth Vader crossbred with a pig. I am disappointed in you two. You didn't think that I'd forget that incident, did you? Please forgive us, sir. W we will not disappoint you in the f future, Colonel. Uh, yeah. You saved us from poverty. We won't ever forget that. Even if we wanted to. Even if you wanted to? W what he means is that even if w w w we were low enough to want to forget, we couldn't. Isn't that right, Ben? Uh, yeah, that's it. I didn't mean that I wanted to forget. Uh, 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 uh. Silence. Presently, Ginger Ale and Bubbles are out searching for Musashi. There's no need to worry about those frivolous sisters. Depending on Topo's situation, we will change our tactics accordingly. Be prepared. It's your ch chance to be p p promoted, sir! I will do my b best! Uh, yeah, me too! We'll show them your power! Face palm. I guess that's the only thing you can say with lackeys like that. Oh, chapter 5, the one that nests underground. God, we're so close to the end. It's unbelievable. Something wrong there? Well, something troublesome just occurred and... Again? What happened? It's a long story. You can find out more at the village shops. Goodbye. More about what? You didn't even tell me what! Whatever. I'll go and find out more at the shops. Hmm, some depressing music going on. Well, that ain't good. Suppose I can visit the shops. Welcome! Yeah, I came to talk. What's going on? Princess Philip came and demanded maintenance fees for the palace! She claimed fees from all of the other village shops, too! I can't believe that she'd do such a thing! This country used to be such a nice place! Yeah, what a shame, it's becoming America now. Nah, just kidding. I gotta stop making them America jokes. I mean, most of my fans are from America. But anyways, maybe I should go see the steward, see what he thinks. Yeah, I got a word with you. Hey, Geezer! Those thieves weren't at their hideout! Sir Musashi! Other, more important matters doth exist. Do you mean the princess? Can you read my mind? The princess disappeared! I looked everywhere in the palace, but I couldn't findeth her. She doth be fine when we had dinner last night. She seemed to be doing fine when she was in the village, too. The village? You saw with her in the village? The people in the village shops were saying that she took all of their profits. She said that it was to help repair the castle. I didn't see her personally, but I don't think they'd all lie about something like that. Hmm, we must hurryeth and find the princess. We must prove her innocence. 
You're right! She wouldn't do such a thing! I mean, she'd be a bitch and all, but I don't think she'd steal money from the villagers! Then you go and check out the castle again, and I'll go look for her in the village and the surrounding areas! I understandeth. Oh, by the way, eth, the gondola hath been repaired! We may now transport goods and passengers to and from eth the palace! Perfect! Then I'll give it a ride! Taketh care, Musashi! Yes, let's do that. Actually, before I go... Oh, great, I can't visit anyone yet. Might as well go for a ride on the gondola. Went for some good times and the most depressing music. And oh, Why is this thing going so fast? Please don't crash into the place. Uh, am I alive? That gondola! Way too fast! Thought I was gonna die. Huh? Steam? What if... Oh no, don't tell me Steamwood's on the fritz again. How does this happen? Seriously, a lot of incompetence from the uh, guy in charge. I'm not impressed. Oh, what are you doing now? What's wrong, pal? Oh, it's you. T take this. Handle number zero. Okay. What the heck is this? <laughs> I locked her in. Inside Steamwood. Locked who in? The princess. All you can eat is princess. The princess? What's she doing here? She ordered me to bring her here. And when I opened the door, she clobbered me over the head. So I locked her in and removed the handle. Then the brat, she made Steamwood go berserk. Oh yeah? I'll go take a look. You can't leave Steamwood like this. Oh good. I'd really like to help, but I'll stand back and let you save the day. You got a lot of mouth for someone who's practically unconscious. Leave it to me. Later. Oh great, now I gotta save Steamwood again. Maybe I should use that handle. This time it's a little bit harder. I don't remember how to do it. No worries, I remember. Basically the same pressure exercise again. Only a little bit of a twist. Now some handles are dismantled and you gotta go get them. Yeah, that's where the tricky part comes in. Now the Bincho tights can be refueled at Soda Fountain. Looks like something's wrong with Steamwood. Oh, who cares? Now I can go and report what I did to Colonel Capricola. Sorry, gals, but I alone will be promoted for this. <gasps> Musashi! Um, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? What are you doing here? I don't remember you having a tail. Ah! Don't do that! Don't! Who the heck are you? And how long were you disguised as a princess? You must be one of the stupid thieves since you were mumbling about Capricola. Stupid thieves? Well, I guess there's no need to keep it a secret. You're correct. I'm a member of Leader's Force. My name's Topo. I guess you already met Ed and Ben. I don't have time to play with you, but next time, I'll make you whimper like a dog. Hey, wait! Just like the other two. What do you mean, whimper? You wish, pal. Huh? Looks like she forgot something. Money! Must be the profits from the village shops. Is this just me or does the bag look like a dork wrote on it? Now everyone will be okay! Oops! Almost forgot about fixing the steam leak! Yeah, that's pretty much the most important thing there, Musashi. Okay, to get the first handle, you gotta go to the back of the whole thing. There. Now I just gotta find handle number one so I can get started. However, thanks to the steam, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get to. So what you need to do is go to level 3. 
like go all the way to the top and then well here's what you need to do you need to go over here drop down drop down again and that's how you get to handle one where's the handle can't turn off the valve without well, it Sasashi. better put that handle to some use here goes nothing oh great now we start the shit fest again Yes. Okay, that's one. Now we gotta look for number two. Oh, there it is. I mean, since I can double jump, it's slightly yeah, easier. Easier to move around, I mean. Yes. Okay, now for handle number three. I mean, you can double jump over the steam if you want, but this way it feels safer. Here. A little riskier too, but, you know. Yes! Okay, now I gotta get to that lift before it goes up. There we go! Got there a little bit faster. And this way, nope. I should go to the left. Oh, this looks like we're handle number four. Right over here. No! No, no! Ah, fuck farts. This is the lift, right? Oh, man. Ugh. Gotta get up there fast. I don't think we're gonna make it, aren't I? Yeah, there's no sense trying. And I gotta start all over again. Hopefully all that steam ain't back. But I think I should still be able to do it. Be right back when I get back to number four. Okay, back to number four. This time, do not screw up. Where's the handle? Can't... Better put that hand. Hopefully, I still got enough time to Here do it. Here goes nothing. Should be able to pull it off with this much time. Yeah. Okay, number five should be over this way, right? Yep, it is. Oh, damn steam. Do a little double jump around the corner. Here. Yeah, yeah. Usually, when I'm not talking during a whole pressure exercise, that means I'm seriously concentrating. Trust me, it's a good idea to have full concentration for something like this. Here. Okay, two more to go, and then I'm done. And not a moment too soon. Oh, there's a lift. Just what I needed. Um, this way, right? Yep, there's number seven. Sweet. Yep. And I see the other handle, too. Yeah. Okay, one more. Then I should be done. Oh shit! God, that uh, steam there had a huge like damage uh, block there. Got hit when I thought I shouldn't have. Good thing I used the pipe. I mean, for jumping on, I don't mean use the pipe to smoke up or whatever. Yes! Yes! Finally! Finished! Ah, time to relax. There. Steamwood is saved for like the second time and thankfully the last time too. I hope somebody got fired over this.
there. Glad I don't have to go here again. Thank you very much! How impressive! This is the second time that you saved Steamwood, eh? No need to worry about it going berserk anymore. As long as you're here to help, ha ha ha! You've gotta be kidding! Hey Mayor, why are you here? Is something wrong? Forrest told me that she wasn't the real princess. She saw someone else come out after you went inside Steamwood. Indeed, that couldn't have been the princess. Unless I'm mistaken? You're right! It wasn't the princess! I thought so. Well, I already told everyone in the village and any doubts about the princess have been cleared. I just wanted to make sure. Oh yeah, Mayor! Here! Here's the uh, dork bag. What's this? I took it back for the fake princess! I think it's the village shop's profits! I'll return this to the proper owners. Thanks for always helping us, Musashi. No problem! We're pals, right? He's right, Mayor Govern. There's no need to thank me. I bet he's thinking about slitting his throat right now. Well, Masashi, you can continue looking for the five scrolls again. I have complete faith in you. You can do it. Oh, I know I'll do it. It's just a matter of when. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here. Next part, we'll look for the remaining scrolls. See ya.